Okay, my name is Stephanie Reynolds, and um, this is my lesson plan, sections four through six. We'll start with section four, activities, and um, we'll start begin with what activities have you planned? And at the beginning of the class, I will um, have students pick up their packet for that day, and they'll take the first 10 minutes or so of class to answer some pre-lab questions. And then we'll move on to the explanation, and I will inform students that after today's lesson plans, they'll be able to follow a complex step, multi-step experiment, identify stages of mitosis on an onion root tip slide, and be able to record data. I'll model for the students the basic knowledge that they need to do, and this will be like the review of the previous lesson, so it refreshes it in their memory. And I'll also demonstrate through a PowerPoint of um, with pictures and video of how to follow the directions in the lab and how to correctly set up the lab with the stage and then under the microscope and how to record the stages of mitosis and how to record it on your data sheet. At the end, and I'll have the ask the students if they have any questions concerning the lab instructions and what they're expected to do. And if there's no questions, I'll have each student uh, divide up into their group with their lab partners. During the guided practice, students will be in small groups, and there'll be two to three students each, and they'll work in their groups together to complete the steps and procedures in the lab packet, and I'll walk around the room monitor, monitoring their um, progress in the uh, lab, and this will let me evaluate how they are working through the steps. And um, I'll also answer any questions they have, and I'll also look at their data that they're recording that they'll be using for their um, report back session. For independent practices, they will do a post-lab question, and these post-lab questions will be a more in-depth questions um, than the pre-lab questions, and they will have to um, use their knowledge in different situations. For closing, we'll do report back sessions. I'll have them stay in their groups, but we'll do a whole class discussion and we'll discuss everybody's findings and we'll compare it to each other's. And this will be our uh, point where we discuss any problems, new ideals, or interesting facts that they discovered during the lab. And um, at this time, I'll also evaluate how they understand um, what the lab was about, look for any under misunderstandings that we can correct before moving on. And I've chosen these because it'll help me evaluate each student during a very tedious process. Um, working through steps, it's hard to do students one-on-one, -on -one, so putting them in groups is the best way to do this. And having the pre and post lab questions allows me to see what their knowledge was before they started the lab and then look at how far it has come after the lab. And now we'll move on to materials. And during the um, lab, we'll use a lot of materials. Um, I'll do a PowerPoint, and that would be for my introduction. Um, there'll also be a packet of their instructions, procedures, pre-lab, post-lab, um, and data charts. And I'll also have my own copy that with a you know master key on it and this will be used for a formative assessment student independent evaluation and the report back discussion will we will also use microscopes and um prepared onion root tip slides now i've chosen to use these because with the powerpoint i'm able to easily demonstrate without taking a whole lot of time up and um i have found that doing doing it this way they can see you know, up on the slide what they need to be doing, and I'm able to explain it to them without actually having to be looking through the microscope trying to find it myself. And I can look at their faces and their reactions to everything. Um, the reason for the packet is I want everybody's uh, labs to look the same, and when I'm evaluating them, this is an easy way for me to look at what one student is to compare to another, and then I can compare the same students, you know, to their previous, the pre-labs and the post-labs. And to have the prepared onion root tip slides, it cuts out a step that normally you would do in like a college setting, 
which I will explain to students how to do it, but we'll just kind of skip over that step and act like we did it, but that would already be done. And moving on to evaluation. For the evaluation, like I said before, I'll do a pre-lab sheet, and this will kind of let me see the base knowledge that they had before coming into the lab, and it'll be basic questions. And um, after the lab, the main thing will be students will independently complete their post-lab question sheet. And this will be questions that are more in-depth on the lesson objective, and they'll have to apply their knowledge to different situations. And also be constantly monitoring the room and evaluating the skills of completing steps, of recording data, working in a group, following directions, and doing the class discussion. And the reason, like I said before, doing the pre and post lab is to help me compare the student's knowledge before and after to see how well this lab has, you know, improved the knowledge of that student. Have they learned more than what they had already known? Do I need to change the lab a little bit? Anything like that? Do they understand what the objective is? Are they leaving my classroom knowing what everything is that they need to know? And, um, Monitoring the room helps me with, you know, knowing that they can follow steps and procedures, they can work in a group, and they can um, do class discussion, and these are all things that they're going to need in a higher education. And that's all I have. Thank you.